Ah, she's taking this back in the day. It is 14 after 11 o'clock and 21 degrees. Well, I kind of think that Barbara might be winning right now in the uh, prediction of what the weather's going to be. But there's still a little bit of hope there. Plenty of day to go. I'm saying 22 degrees. I think we're going to get there. I do. I really do. It's Thursday, April 21st, and for a change, we're talking to a, a, an artist, and believe me, we're in the, not only the same time zone, but the same day, which is, you know, rather weird for me, literally speaking to so many people from over the other side of the world. Uh, and believe me, I'm really looking forward to it. So, tell you what, let me do this. <laughs> right you're right here at galaxy 107 fm and let me tell you how happy we are to be in association with rise up tv big record sony music the orchard right here at galaxy check this out another indie artist interview brought to you by galaxy 107 fm in association with rise up tv big record is sony music the orchard Believe me, it is an absolute pleasure for once to come back to New Zealand and talk to a Kiwi artist as talented as John Michaels. And of course, we're talking about the John Michaels and the Black Brothers band, believe me, making huge inroads here at Galaxy. Uh, let's kick it off. Here is Jarface. <laughs> That gives us a couple of minutes, John, before we go uh -huh. anywhere. How are you feeling? You okay? I'm feeling fine. Nice. Uh, now, I've got to warn you, we are in association with a TV company over the other side of the world called Rise Up TV. Yeah, yeah. Um, in fact, one of the bosses is online watching right now, Pamela hey, Taser. Uh, how about nice was watching? Um, so, now, what we're looking at is getting their artists because they do a lot of tours over there with their artists and tv companies and stuff like this and big buses and all that they want to come to new zealand tour some of their artists here in new zealand we also want to tour artists and get an association going with these guys so uh, yeah, yeah. We're, with luck we might be able to get you on some of the stages having said that uh, i want to talk to you afterwards because uh, we've got a a concert coming up very very shortly that we would love to include you in right um so we'll have to have a chat about that um, okay this is from a guy coming out of papua new guinea he's uh, being supported by his government if you know what i mean always nice to have the government on board yeah you? yeah love that idea um but at the same time we've played him some of your music and he says i want to collaborate i want to do a track together so right so if you're, okay. if you're up for a chat, we'd love to talk about that. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, I've, uh, with, uh, well, I have, we've been in contact quite a bit with uh, Vega Vibes. Uh, oh, okay. We're chatting a lot. Uh, we've, we've got a little spiel about him up on the website and all that, you know, so links to him. And uh, he, uh, yeah, he sent me a message the other day that simply said, I'm in love with Jarface. <laughs> Cool, cool. Yeah, he's a great guy. He really, really yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been great being in contact with him. And uh, yeah, great that he just loves our music so much too. So Exactly. exactly. Believe me, we promote you and your music to a lot of our artists overseas, Mo. Right, cool. We really, really do. Uh, it's about getting New Zealand out to that platform as much as getting that platform back into New Zealand. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, such a pleasure to be able to do this with you, John. It really, really is. Oh, pleasure's all mine. John Rawlins is watching. Who? John Rawlins. All right. <laughs> okay, nice to have you on board, John. It really, really is. Um, so our next track that we're going to go into is Show Me Your Colours, but we're going to have a little chat to the people on Facebook Live, to those that are listening on the internet, into women. Yeah. I've got to warn you, though, uh, we like to have a bit of fun here, okay, brother? That's all good with me. Nice. Uh, Kiwis, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
That's right, you're right, here we go, it's the 107 FM, it is 20 minutes after 11 o'clock, New Zealand Standard Time, 21 degrees, only a couple of points away from me running this comp today, knew the weatherman wasn't going to be in it at all, and Barbara, well, she's winning right now, so we don't need that happening, do we? No, it is Thursday, April 21st, and today, it's such a pleasure to be able to come back to New Zealand and talk to a New Zealand Artist, literally, Kiwis, we, we love to be Kiwis, we really do. Uh, Terry Van Cannon's on board, he's watching right now, uh, listening to two Kiwis, which is fun, really, really cool. Uh, John Rawlins, got to welcome you on board as well. Pamela, always a pleasure to have you on board, darling, it really, really is. Today, I want to welcome everybody on Facebook Live as well. If you're going to watch a little later on, over there on YouTube, you know what to do, right? No, you do, really. Sub, thumb, bell, bingo. Uh, bell notifications when we have important people, much like a New Zealander for a change today. Uh, get friendly with the thumb thing, you know. In fact, get epileptic with that thing. Just go wild. Love it. Thumb, 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 right? And sub, of course, become a member. Subscribe. Be part of the family. Here we go. We want you to be a part of it. This is a good way to do it. Right now, I'm talking... Of course, to the man himself, John Michaels and the Black Brothers Band. Now, uh, believe me, the Black Brothers really are the Black Brothers. Yes, they are. Uh, we're talking about Gary and also Wayne Black in the band. Now the correlation works, doesn't it? It does. John, welcome to the family. Uh, thank you. Absolute pleasure to have you, my friend. It really is so nice to hear a Kiwi accent for a change. Uh, my accent was so Kiwi, but hey, cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, believe me, it, it is, guys. So I speak to a lot of Americans, a lot of Canadians, yeah. uh, believe me, <laughs> and some Australians as well. Uh, I hope you're up for a, um, a bit of stick towards the Australians, like I love to give them anyway. Uh, it's got to be done. Yep, absolutely. You're a Kiwi. There you go. Just got to ask you, though, Iceland, really? Why yeah. Iceland? Yep, yeah. great country. Left, uh, left here when I was five and spent 17 years there growing up, yeah. Wow, wow. Uh, well, I'm, I'm sure you didn't have a choice in this. Uh, no, I did not. Um, uh, my mother uh, died when I was uh, about 18 months. I was the youngest of uh, five. And my father was uh, what you call a travelling evangelist. Ah. And he ended up in Iceland, and two years later he remarried, and um, so we had a new mum, and hopped on a plane, and they started a whole new chapter in my life, basically. Okay, okay, now that explains things, because I, I looked at it and went, Iceland? Dude's crazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I really did. <laughs> uh, now, having said that, my friend, and I really, really want to get into this jar face. We opened up the show with jar face. For the audio audience that we have on board right now, tell me a little bit about this. How did you come to the lyrics of this? Uh, well, Jarface was just one of those songs that there was no touring over whatsoever. I pretty much uh, wrote lyrics and music in the, you know, the time it takes to sing it. it just, uh, I noticed that when those songs happen, they are normally the most popular, strangely enough. Um, I've had a, you know, maybe three or four of those over my uh, lifetime where, yeah, you just write it in two seconds and um, people seem to like it. It's maybe the simplicity of it or, um, and yeah, the lyrics are pretty straightforward, just about, you know, that, um, you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of racism in this world everywhere, um, you know, even in Aotearoa. Um, so, um, yeah, it's basically an anti-racist song just saying that, saying that we're all created evil. Well, you know, John, and I've got to be honest with you, uh, I love, love, love your work. I really do. Uh, I've been an engineer for almost 40 years, uh, been a DJ for approximately the same amount of time, uh, and been in the industry uh, with bands and everything. Believe me, uh, the, only, the only thing uh, people don't want me to do is sing, literally. <laughs> uh, I'll leave that to you, John. Uh, well, okay. Actually, John, I, I sing tenor or maybe 12 miles away from anybody that can hear me. Right. Yeah, it's got to be done, literally. It's got to be, yeah. But I've worked in some of the uh, more pristine... That's, that's what we call social distancing. Yeah, these days it is, anyway. Uh, we, call, <laughs> we call it COVID. Yeah, 
Right. <laughs> <laughs> the grass sings it's COVID. Yeah, literally. Yeah, believe me, everybody's infected at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> Having said that, I have worked in some of the more uh, pres uh, pristine radio uh, shows in, in New Zealand and also some of the best uh, recording engineering studios in the country as well. Uh, I give you uh, Stepping Studios for one, I spent yeah. many, many years there. Uh, so I listen to music as a, an engineer or as a DJ, not as a fan. And, and when, yeah. I, when I heard Jarface, I just literally, I said to Barbara, where are these guys from? I want to know, because believe me, uh, I don't hear, I hear bands every day, every day, right? But from time to time, there's a piece of gold in there, and that's, right. what, that's yeah. what I thought Jarface was. Uh, we, as you mentioned, uh, we had introduced you to Vega Vines, for instance. Um, believe me, he's a quality, quality artist. He recognised oh, yeah. he recognised the talent right away. He really did, and he says to me, Grant, I really want to get to know this guy a little bit better. So we're going to do a little something there. Um, having said that. I speak to bands all the time, John, literally all the time, and they tell me one thing. Uh, I, I wrote it down in five minutes on a McDonald's napkin. Now, these songs literally tend to have longevity. They're the ones that hang around. Yeah. You know, so I kind of agree with your statement there. I really do. Um, believe me, these are going to be around for a long time, and I think Jarface is a quality, quality track. I really do. Yes, thank you. Show me your colours. Tell me about this track because, believe me, I'm loving this work as well. And this is a, this is an old track. Uh, well, it comes off my um, uh, album Rock and Roll, which uh, was Kiwi nominated. Um, I had Show My Own on there, or did, did a duo with her on there. Uh, this was the only reggae track on the album. Um, but we got a, you know, Lee and Ryan from the Knights played the beautiful keys on it, and my good friend Grant Hara who is now uh, signed to Dixie Ford Records. Uh, he's over in Europe right now doing a great little concert tour there. Uh, he did all the guitars on the album. Um, yeah, it was just one of those reggae songs that I... Yeah, I've, I've loved reggae all my life and I've always been doing the blues and or, you know, the country or rock and all the other stuff. But um, yeah, I thought it was time to do what I really, really love. You know, I'm, I'm a reggae fanatic in that in that sense. I've been to Jamaica, and you know, so uh, so now I'm a reggae artist, basically. <laughs> well, John, I think you've fallen on your feet. I really, really do. Uh, talking of Shana Lang, uh, do you remember Beaver back in the day? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, I was a friend of Beaver's, and she was doing something with Sharon O'Neill back in the day, and they introduced me to Shana. Way, yeah, yeah, yeah. way back, way back. Here, way back. Yeah. here at Galaxy. Joining us live is John Michaels from John Michaels and the Black Brothers Band from Tauranga here mm -hmm. in New Zealand. Show me your colours on Galaxy. <laughs> oh, it's hot in here. We need to uh, employ some more Kiwi air conditioning, sweetie. <laughs> Open the window. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, yeah, it's hot in here too. Um, John, and now I ask everybody this question. I'm just wondering, uh, you're not a vegan, are you? No. No, you're a meatologist like me. I I just eat. Yeah, I just eat what I eat. Uh, the thing What's is, you see, huh? the reason why I ask everybody this is, well, have you ever tried a vegan sausage? No, I don't want to. No, yeah, well, no, I mean, you see, the, I want to know if they're made of real vegans. <laughs> I'll be using that one. Yeah, you you can. I'll let you have that one. I will. Thank you. Uh, look, I actually did run into a lady that was a vegan. Yes. Uh, says to her, you know, jokes. Do you guys hang out? You know, do you go to the pub? Do you, do you have a social night together or anything? She goes, why? I says, because the only place to see you is on the news. <laughs> This, it's almost true. It is. It is. I think they've been substituted now for protesters or something. Yeah. <laughs> They're coming back. I've seen them. The protesters are coming back. Yeah, the vegans. Oh, the vegans are coming yeah, back. Not the protesters. Yeah. Oh, we don't want the protesters back. No. <laughs> dear, dear, dear. Um, 
are you doing much gigs at the moment, bro? Or are you? No, nah, we've um, we've uh, we haven't even rehearsed for I don't know, four or five months. Just uh, sort of in our circles, we've got a, a, a immune efficiency person, and so it's just not worth the uh, the idea of contracting COVID for those reasons. So we've pretty much been in pretty much locked out. So you know, I can still do all the stuff at home or doing interviews like I'm doing like that. But um, no, we're just hoping, you know, I'm sort of hoping next two, two weeks or so it'll come down enough and and uh, we can sort of just start where we left off last time, you know. We've got a whole album to finish and we definitely want to do some live shows. Nice, nice, because uh, um, I'd love to come and have a look at you, one of your shows. Uh, yeah. At, uh, but I want to incorporate you into a show that we're doing here in New Zealand as well. So I want to talk to you That'll about that. That'll be great. Um, I also want to... If, if you don't mind, I've got a friend of mine who has a magazine now. Believe me, this magazine has been classed by some of the professionals in the world as the next Rolling Stone. Right. Well, that's this. good because Rolling Stone is not worth reading these days. No, believe me. But uh, th this is quality. This is actually a quality uh, magazine. Uh, but it's coming out of India. And right. my mate Jay, who... He's in a region where there's about 8 million people. And I'm sure... Yeah. I'm damn positive... He knows each and every person there by first name. He's doing a festival. You know what I mean? He's that popular. November. But yeah. we want to be able to promote you in his magazine. Would you mind if I got Barbara to introduce you? No, no, no. No, feel free. Awesome. And believe me, he's good. Got, no, appreciate it. Got a huge following. He really does. So uh, I'll get Barbara onto that as well. <clears throat> good with yeah, you, Bob? Make a do all the work. Yeah. <laughs> believe yeah. me. Oh, we, lo we love promotions, we do. You're right, here at Galaxy 107 FM. Such a pleasure to have everybody on board this morning. It really, really is. And moreover, today we're here not only in New Zealand, but in the North Island. We're staying within our own backyard, pretty much, in the Bay of Plenty, joined by John Michaels from the Black Brothers Band. And believe me, I am absolutely impressed with this band. I really, really am. Having said that, and I know you're going to understand this one, uh, I'm sure that he's been reading my bio over the years, I really do. I mean, there's Roger Fox in here, there's Richie Pickett, for instance. Uh, believe me, it's a wonder that he hasn't um, been knocking on my door sooner. Uh, bands, would you believe, i, I got to wonder, you know, who would subject you to Tex Morton over the years? Oh, you know, oh, yeah. you know, that person needs to have... Mm -hmm. uh, but having said that, Prince Tui Tekka. Very, very close friend of mine. I spent many, many years with Prince Tui Tekka in, uh, in Australia on his farm over there. Dalvanius. Oh, yeah. Dalvanius. I used to babysit his dogs. <laughs> his yeah, little... the, the Black Brothers boys, they've, they've been around the block a few times. Okay, Brendan Dugan is a uh, close friend of mine, Eddie Lowe also. Frankie Stevens, that's going back in the day as well. Uh, you know... It's a wonder we haven't really run into each other sooner than now, really. It really, really is, because... Uh, yeah, well, as I say, I'm sure, I'm sure we've run into each other somewhere, somewhere along the way. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, I also used to work with uh, Hello Sailor back in the day. Uh, oh, as, uh, you mean Hello Failure? Yeah, kind of, well... <laughs> that's, what, uh, that's what Richie used to call me. <laughs> yeah, 
Yes. Uh, uh, and I, uh, very, 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 Graham, Graham was a very good friend of mine. So, uh, yeah, we, we, we spent some good times together, me and Graham. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you st he kicked me out of his bookstore once. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> we disagree. Uh, but I had Billy T with me at the time, you know what I mean? Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Makes sense. B Billy was giving him a bit of stick, so uh, we, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're out of there. <laughs> but he said, uh, but it, you know, it, all in good humour, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, and uh, here, here's one for you. Do you, you remember the Comedy Factory down Queen Street? Yeah, 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 played in there. I was working uh, as a DJ uh, for Phil Warren back in the day at the Ace of Clubs. This guy comes up and he goes, hey, um, you're a funny man. How would you like to uh, do a bit of a comedy thing? I think you can handle it. And I went, yeah, okay. So he set it up. He sent a car for me for the weekend that I was free. And it took me to the back door of the uh, comedy company. And uh, knock on the door, says the driver. So I went and knocked on the door. And this behemoth opens the door. He looks at me and goes, be funny. I'd never done it before. It scared the hell out of me. Uh-huh. No, I, 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 I tell you what, I was more afraid of him than I was of the audience at the time. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? In fact, I managed to pull it off. Uh, but I had friends in the business back in those days, like Billy T, for instance, and, of course, uh, a Westie that you might be familiar with as well. Right. <laughs> a good friend of mine knew him. Uh, so, believe me, I knew what I was doing. Now, tell me about Up and Down We Go, because this is really, really intriguing to me. I play this track in my car. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is, that, one's, that one's off uh, the Kosher EP uh, that I had working with uh, Bruce Rollins, uh, who's now in uh, Burrow. I don't know if you heard of them. That's a Ring My Blues band. And uh, Andrew Featherston. Uh, the bass player of that band, uh, which of course you know, Andrew. Yeah, so we, we had this little band called Kosher for a while there, and um, up and down, I'd uh, written that maybe two or three, four years before the band got together. And yeah, no, we just uh, thought that was a good track to do. Um, uh, it just, yeah, to be honest, I, I really like the sound of that recording. Um, we did something different. We we did we did the bass and the drums on analog, and the rest was on Pro Tools. And I think that makes a big difference in the sound that we're getting there. Having the, having the drums and the bass on the analog thing just brought it to another level, in my opinion. You know, John, I got to agree with you. I really do. And, and there was a subliminal thing there. I'm sure of it. Now I know. <laughs> a good friend of mine. And the Featherstone, good old Andrew Featherstone, uh, the after, right here at Galaxy, here is, of course, the man himself, John Michaels and the Black Brothers Band, with a little bit of my friend in there as well. Up and down we go, right here at Galaxy. <laughs> I used to work with Andy at Area 51. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's, that's where we recorded this track. <laughs> yeah, well, in Henderson? Yeah, no, in New Lynn. Oh, okay, it's a new place. Okay, good. I, I used to be in the old place, and believe me. Right, so that's uh, really early days, adrenaline. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just, just on about the birth of Six Foot Sativa or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. they used to, yeah, because, yeah. I, I I used to run the studio for them in New Lynn and you know they were we used to put them right down the end because they were the loudest band even in a padded room it was just like okay he's put the team up down the end boys yep yep absolutely I remember those days uh, you see I was working for The Rock in Auckland at the time right, yeah yeah and uh, I met up with Andrew and says oh you know I dabble in a bit of <laughs> engineering he goes really do you and so I went and had a look at his gear and I says oh gosh it's that old <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we got on like a house on fire. Uh, he was, I actually got him the gig to be able to uh, put out some CDs for The Rock when The Rock first started. Right. And those CDs went to every house in Auckland. Right. Literally, uh, I think I've still got one floating around somewhere in the archives, to be honest. Right, yeah, yeah. You know, but gosh, um, he made a mint out of The Rock on that one. <laughs> he did. But uh, I was also there the day that he 
found out that he was flooded out, if you remember that. Yeah, no, no, we, uh, yeah, I, I wasn't working with him. Uh, we, you know, after, I went back uh, down to Toronto with that. But yeah, no, I remember him. He, he got hold of him and the studio is gone, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got the same message. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry, Andrew, we're making fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> Galaxy 107 FM, 19 away from lunchtime, 12 o'clock noon here in New Zealand and uh, over in Tauranga, unfortunately it's about the same time, maybe it's the same weather even, you never know, 25 degrees, I win, I do, I don't get to beat Barbara often, but today I'm going to take that one, I really am, Thursday, April the 21st and um, today I'm talking to John Michaels and the Black Brothers Band coming out of Tauranga and the Bay of Plenty here in New Zealand. Such a pleasure to speak to a Kiwi and have a Kiwi accent back at me. Now, believe me, uh, so, so happy to be able to play this music from around the world, uh, uh, to around the world as well. Now, uh, I was listening to that particular track when I first heard it, John. Uh, it reminded me of another band coming out of Belgium by the name of Camel's Drop. Such a Similar sound, such a similar feel. It really, right. really is. I, I must get Barbara to introduce you. you you'll love these guys. You really will. Right. So cool. And uh, uh, you never know what might transpire. <laughs> because believe me, uh, we've got a number of things in the works that, well, you know, we're going to include you in on. And uh, if you're not doing anything before, you're going to be doing a lot now. Really? <laughs> I like it. Uh, it's all about trying to uh, not only promote uh, John Michaels and the Black Brothers Band, uh, but also, you know, there's a bit of coin involved as well. We might be able to make a few dollars, which is always nice. That's always nice. Yep. Uh, you never know, we might be able to do a tour in Australia as well, you know, uh, only because we like their money though, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, a lot of people will ask me about Queensland, and I went, Queensland? I said, no, we have a Queenstown here in New Zealand, but not a Queensland. Queensland's the place in Australia where men wear long dresses, high heels, handbags, drive past in women's clothing, call it drag racing. That's Queensland. Queenstown is Fun Factory. It is. Uh, and it's opening up very, very shortly again. It's going to be nice to be able to see all the celebs go and run away and hide back down in Queenstown. Go and see uh, Shania Twain, for instance. Hey, Shania. Uh -huh. <laughs> Believe me, I was down there not so long ago, pre-pandemic. Uh, believe me, there was Kevin Costner was down there at the time. There was a laugh um, because we threw him off the bridge. Right? Yeah, the bungee thing. We, you know, AJ Hackett and the boys down yeah. there. Yeah, uh, Kevin Costner. Went, we had him bailed up in the pub and challenged him. He, he didn't know what he was in for, but it was okay. He was an Australian. We attached the bungee. Right. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> lucky, lucky like that. Uh, have you ever been down the Shot Over River on the jets? No. <clears throat> Bro, that's something you're going to have to do. I talk about it all the time to uh, uh, bands that want to come to New Zealand. Hey, listen, we'd do a bit of a tour, show you around, and give you a bit of culture as well. I said, these jet boats, they're fantastic. They're super boats, literally. And uh, they rocket down this river. And this wall to wall wall in there as well. It's just massive. And they turn these things inside out, upside down, and, well, you know, all around. Guarantee you won't spill your beer. 
You know, the Americans are very quick to say, why not? Uh, well, it's easy. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, you know, we're civilised. We have lids. It's true, we have lids. Even straws. <coughs> Works better that way. Having said that, my friend, uh, are you up for maybe a bit of work? Are you up for doing a tour or two, maybe? Oh, definitely, definitely. Cool, because I really want to talk to you about that. In the meantime, I do have a fan question. Uh, from Shelley, coming out of Palermo in Italy, is asking, John, as a fan, how do we get hold of you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? Are you a talker? But more importantly, John, do you respond? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, we've, uh, we've, uh, we're on Facebook, you know, just, uh, yeah, John Michaels and the uh, Black Lives Band, but we also, we've got our own website, so that's really the place to go, which is just John Michaels and the Black Brothers Band dot com. Um, and once you're there, there's links to the Instagram and the Twitters and all the other ones that sort of go with it. But, um, yeah, it's, it's sort of best to go to a website because you've got some songs there that aren't on the, um, on the other avenues and um, sort of that's how you get all the info about us. You know, John, uh, at the same time, on your website, do you have a merch store? Can people buy a product? Yes, they can, yep. Brilliant, brilliant. In fact, I'm going to talk to you about that too because maybe, just maybe, you might want to send me a T-shirt uh, because... When I wear these and doing these interviews, like today I'm wearing Terry Van Cannon, of course, Vimeo's a uh, very good friend of mine coming out of North Carolina. Uh, people go on the interweavy thing, and believe me, I've had people say, Grant, I've been guilty of doing it, watching your interviews, checking out who you're wearing before you know <laughs> I'm buying koozies and guitar picks and T-shirts and caps and everything. Believe me, it works. It really does. So, uh, well, we'll get a t-shirt made and send it to you. Very cool. I tell you what, when you complete your album as well, how about sending me a few copies? Let's do a, um, a, a John Michael's Black Brothers giveaway competition. What do you reckon? That would be no problem whatsoever. I love it. I really do. Because uh, it would be an honour to keep the John Michael's Black Brothers band name rolling here at Galaxy. And keep the music yeah. rolling. Well, uh, you know, as you can see behind me, I... Uh, the band's not with me, but they're sort of with me, so, you know, yeah. Yeah, believe me. Yeah, you've got, uh, that, that's, that's Mark Kirk up there, what you can see. Uh, you know, one of the best guitar players I've ever had the pleasure of playing with. He's, yeah, he's, I can almost throw out the word genius. He's, he's that good. <laughs> I like that. And, um, and then, uh, that's Gary right behind me there on the bass, and Wayne, his brother there, back on the drums, so, um, I'm a very lucky man. I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of these guys. And um, first time we ever, you know, because I've, I've known the Black Brothers for, you know, 30 years, more and more. We did, we, we, we'd never played together. We'd never worked together. And I was thinking, I want to do reggae. And I thought, no, nah, I can't use that. They don't have that feel. Like, and I just thought of them. And, you know, after 30 years of not seeing them, we went to a room together, plugged in, and it was, it was instant. Love that. Love, yeah, love, love that. We just, we all knew straight away this is going to work. Yeah, but. I love that feel. I really do. It's like comfortable old shoes, you know what I mean? And yeah, 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 yeah. It was just, it was, it was happy to be playing together all our lives, basically. So, um, it's, um, I'm really proud of these boys and, um, yeah, it's just great to have them on board. I get that. I really do. Uh, at the same time, John, I, I noted that, uh, uh, I'm loving the cartoon version of you guys in the background there. Uh, but, we do this live. After we finish this, we take a few crazy shots and everything, so don't go away uh, as soon as we finish. Uh, and you'll get a copy of everything we do. Uh, and uh, there's no use asking, has he ever been a cartoon? Because you're going to be another cartoon again. Barbara's going to make everything into one of those as well. Uh, you, can, sure. you can share it all with your friends, your family, anybody you don't like, give it to them. You know what I mean? <laughs> Believe me, they, they will appreciate it, I'm sure. Uh, including Do The Do's. Now, right. tell me about Do The Do's, because this is a song that's captured my imagination. Why? Right. Why is it called My Imagination? Why is it called Your Imagination? Yeah. Um, I don't know, I think, yeah, it's, um, well, um, we had a friend, Mike Butler, he, uh, he played a bit of harp on that song, you know, just doing the things, and um, when I sent him a rough coffee, copy to learn it, he sort of got hold of me three or four days later and his thing like, wow, you know, I heard the song, I thought, yeah, yeah, 
Now listen again, he said, uh, what I love about this song, it grows on you. It's not the instant, um, maybe like Jarface, ooh, you know. Um, and yeah, so he just, to him, that was sort of his favorite song because he said every time he played it, it got better and better and better. And um, yeah, it's, it's just another one of those simple, simple message songs of, you know, if you only do what you need to do, you don't have time to be doing the stuff you ain't meant to do. <laughs> Do you want to prove? I understand that fully. Right here at Galaxy, joining us live, coming out of Tauranga, Bay of Plenty, New Zealand, is, yes, John Michaels and the Black Brothers Band, Do The Do's. <laughs> Ooh, I got sweat running in my face. How are you feeling? You okay? You hot? Cool. How are you feeling, John? You okay? I'm, I'm feeling good, but like you, it's stinking hot, man. Yeah, it's muggy. Really, really it's, muggy. Yeah, yeah, that's the word. It's really muggy up here in Tauranga, too, man. It's, um, yeah, well, it's still summertime here, yeah, pretty much. It, it it it's weird, here. though. It's unseasonable, don't you think? Oh, totally. Totally. You know, I, I think there's a little bit of uh, global warming to play on this one. Yeah, yeah, for sure, if you know, something's going on. Yeah. <laughs> How many countries? <coughs> okay, that's not bad. 191 countries have tuned in this morning to this. Oh, brilliant. That's not bad. How many that's countries? not bad, 191 countries. In 645 cities around the world. Very nice. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'll give you I'll give you the total of how many online were listening to this when we're finished. Uh, okay, believe, yeah, yeah. Believe me, uh, just coming out of a little town like Kowido, bro, we are literally everywhere in the world and we have a huge following. We really yeah, do. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's great to know too, man, and especially with what you're doing, you know, by promoting, you know, Music that not have, you know, not that stupid chart stuff, to, uh, <laughs> just be blatantly honest. Oh, we, we still do the stupid chart stuff, but... Oh, no, no, you've got to do that too. But, the, you know... Yeah. Is, most of them are just playing that and they don't even worry about anyone else. I mean, unless you sign to the big wigs or whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, it's always an uphill struggle, so uh, no, I commend you guys for what you're doing there, man. It's great. Thank you, John. Well, you know, it's all about the music, the artists the artists, songwriters, how it's performed. There's a whole deal involved here, my friend, but it's all yeah. about the love of music. It really is. you got somebody else in the room. Is she naked? No. Bugger. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, just as we were coming into summertime, my bosses came to me and says, Grant, what do you want for summer this year? And I went, a fan. They went, okay, I went, yeah, something about maybe six foot tall, blonde, blue, white, 18 would be nice, maybe 19. She could go like that all day, I don't mind. They got, uh, they got me a damn gold ear. <laughs> gold ear. <laughs> they splashed out. <laughs> yeah, big time. <sighs> I think they went to the warehouse. <laughs> Whitey buddy. Okay, um, we're going to do, and I've got to be honest with you, John, come on in. I'm struggling to get through a breakfast show without playing it, okay? Well, you know, I'd be very disappointed if you got through a show without playing it. We get that many requests. Honestly, the breakfast show... Oh, is really? Up, yeah, the breakfast show primarily is made up of requests. That's how we right. put it together every day. I'm playing your music, bro. <laughs> Right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Such a pleasure to be talking to a Kiwi today. It really, really is. Believe me, I speak to so many international artists from around the world. The message is the same. It's all about good music. Otherwise, we don't play it. We really don't. But having said that, today, talking to John Michaels and the Black Brothers Band, we have been absolutely spoiled just recently. We really have. 
the uh, public have spoken. 3,791 requests to date. And this is primarily why we're playing it in the breakfast show. Every day these days is come on in. John Michaels, why is this so popular with people? Why do they love this song? Um... I really couldn't tell you that one. Um, it, yeah, we chose that as the first single. Um, I think it was the first song I pretty much wrote uh, when this band started. I think it was the first one we rehearsed. And um, yeah, I guess maybe I think it was the first, first, first of everything. So, uh, you know, we decided that would be the single. And um, yeah, people have said they found it catchy and, um, you know, it's got a good groove to it. And um, once again, to me, it's the simplicity of it. Well, I've got to be honest with you, John. When we first started playing it, and we played it about maybe six or seven times, didn't say anything to anybody, just played it. And uh, it blew up our internet. People wanted to know who, what, when, where, how, when are we doing the interview, the whole deal about this. And so we decided, OK, we'll check this out. We'll have a look at what the stats are saying, the production are going... You know, it's actually qualifying for the breakfast show. I went seriously. So they started putting it in. Before you know it, it was growing in momentum. People were just wanting to know more and more and more about it. And not only just average everyday people, people that we work with that are in the industry, that sing the reggae music themselves, that live the lifestyle, they are saying, Grant, I want to work with this band. Yeah. Literally. So that's the impact that come on in has made here at Galaxy, and believe me, I commend you on this track, I really do. Love, 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 love this work, I really do. So without further ado, believe me, you're going to love this. Here is John Michaels and the Black Brothers Band, the song I can't get away from in the breakfast show. Yes, come on in. Believe me, I'm going to get Barbara to send you a couple of Camel's Drops tracks. That these guys come out of Belgium. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fantastic band. You guys sound so familiar to to each other. You know what I mean? Wow, well, that's interesting. Yeah, I can't wait to hear some of that. Yeah, especially a track called Bush Baby. Um, right. Here in Kobudo, even though it's a little town, and we play through the awnings and everything downtown. Uh, we're in the downtown. Um, I was actually heading off to the bakery down the road the other day, and Bush Baby was playing, and here's these kids literally singing this track. Right. And I'm thinking, holy hell, they know the song. You know what I mean? That's brilliant. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, just yeah, downtown Cairo, they're singing a song by a band from Belgium. Yeah. Well, you brilliant. know, you you know the culture in in this part of the world. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So of course they're going to relate to it, and, and I think that's what's happened with this particular track come on in as well is that believe right, me, yeah, yeah. they're relating to it and that's fantastic bro we want to introduce oh, some cool thank you no, no, no. Um... yep yep, yep. Uh, barbara was just saying we want to introduce you to anselm uh, I, I want to talk to you about anselm he's coming out of papua new guinea he's got a bit of uh nous behind him if you know what i mean he's got a whole yeah, yeah. pushing him i want to get you on the same stage as him if you know what i mean yeah yeah now, it's about putting you on New Zealand stages, but at the same time, putting you on international stages because we talk contras. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's getting uh, the Black Brothers out there, getting getting your band out there, taking you to different places. And believe me, uh, we've got something you might be interested in. We really, oh, really definitely, do. definitely, man. Uh, everything helps, Grant. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> Exactly that, brother man, and um, I think your, your work is the quality that we're looking for to be able to do this. Right, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, so, uh, thank you. No, no, we're, uh, as I say, you know, we're, this is not our first time around the block, so yeah. Uh, yeah. I, think, I think we're allowed to call ourselves professionals now. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so, somebody in the radio game the other day dubbed me as the, um, the godfather of radio. Oh! Oh, actually, he was out of Actors' Equity, actually, Radio New Zealand, and I went, that's just a pleasant way of saying I'm old, right? 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, Grant, you're the oldest radio announcer in New Zealand these days. I went, that's because I've been in it for 40 years, of course. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you're right, Eric Galaxy, 107 FM, and I've got to let you know, I don't mind being the oldest man in radio here in New Zealand, I really don't, it's prestigious to be honest, because I've had a great career, and anybody that wants to double that one, I dare you, no, I really do, 40 years, go on, 80 years, I dare you, it is one minute after midday lunchtime, you see I'm on time, I'm not doing too bad, 25 minutes, uh, sorry, 25 degrees downtown, I've won the weather, and it is Thursday, yeah, April 21st. Uh, don't forget, we're coming into a long weekend, so I'm going to give you Monday off, New Zealand, okay? Anzac weekend this weekend. Enjoy yourself, party hard, have a good time, stay safe, but don't drink and drive, okay? Believe me, be good on that one. Having said that, that brings us to the end of another interview here in New Zealand. Love to have you back again next week. We're going to have a couple of very, very interesting bands from around the world. You're going to love that. Uh, so stay tuned. In the meantime, for you guys that are going to watch a little later on on YouTube, don't forget, subscribe. Yeah, go on, give it a go. Do the thummy thing. Get epileptic with the thumb. And don't forget, notifications, yet yeah, do the bell. We would love to let you know when we have important people, much like John Michaels and the Black Brothers Band coming out of Tauranga, joining us. It is an absolute pleasure to have you, so please, stay in touch. You're right here at Galaxy, and you know something? We are very, very happy to be in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record, and of course, Sony Music, The Orchard, right here at Galaxy. Have a great day. Catch you next week. Another indie artist in you, brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM, in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record, and